Happened because I'm weak. He was trying to protect me. Is that him? Go on. Go on. No. This can't be real. Go on. Go on. Go on. Trunks had finally become a Super Saiyan. However, the transformation came at a great cost. Three years have passed. As the only warrior left to stand against the android menace, Trunks continued his training, hoping to one day avenge Gohan and the others. Holding on to hope, End of the Android Apocalypse. I'm back, Mom. Welcome home, Trunks. How was your training? You won't believe it. I feel like I'm finally making some real headway. I might actually be as strong as Gohan was back then. Good. You definitely look pretty confident. But don't let your guard down. Right. I know. Well, you can never be too safe. Oh, that's right! Oh, it won't be much longer until the time machine is finished. <laughs> what kind of a response is that? This is a time machine we're talking about. A time machine! I, I know. I'm really impressed with what you've done. Once it's ready to go, you'll be able to head to the past and meet Goku, Gohan's father. You've probably heard of him. And give him his heart medication. With Goku alive and able to fight, something ought to change. Then you can head back to the moment when the androids arrive to help with the fight. Oh, and gather some useful intel for me. I can then use that information to figure out their weaknesses and exploit them here in our time. But no matter how much I travel to the past, our world won't go back to the way it was. All the people we've lost, they won't come back, will they? Probably not, no. Right. That means my father and Gohan will still be gone. But I should be strong enough to stop the androids now. I shouldn't have to go to the past. Oh, uh, that reminds me, Trunks. There's something I need you to do for me. Really? What's that? Something small. Should be a pretty simple thing. Remember how I told you the time machine's almost complete? Well, I actually don't have enough of what I need for a super important, really critical part. Could you help me out? Sure, I can do that. Where can I find what you need? Mount Paozu. You know, where Chi-Chi's, uh, Gohan's house is. You know how to get there, right? Oh. Yeah, I do. 
Unfortunately, I don't remember the exact spot where you can find the materials. Maybe try asking Chi-Chi or the Ox King. It's been a little while since I've seen them, so I could see how they're doing while I'm at it. Good. That's my boy. If they need anything, make sure to help them out, okay? Sure. Oh, I almost forgot. Here's what I need you to bring back for me. <laughs> Thanks. Got it. I'll see you later. First, I'd better go talk to Chi-Chi. Chi-Chi and her father are home. Hello? It's me! Trunks! Trunks? Hold on just a sec! Well, aren't you a sight for sore eyes? What brings you here? Sorry, it's been so long. My mother needs my help with something. Do you have a minute? Sure. We weren't really doing anything right now, anyway. Isn't that right, Dad? Yeah. The androids never show up here, so uh, we've got it pretty good. At least, not as bad as people in the cities. Oh, okay. I wanted to see if you guys were doing okay or if you needed anything. Nope. We're okay. Glad to hear you were thinking about us, though. What about you? You and Bulma all right? Yeah. My mother's actually working on something. Oh, that's right. She asked me to come here and help find something she needs. I'm looking for this. Do you know where I can find it in this area? Hmm. I have no idea. What about you, Dad? Well, uh, let's see. Oh, there is a place somewhere on this mountain. But the thing is, it's... Is there something I should know about it? Yeah, some weird machines are wandering around the area. <laughs> Nasty little thing of a bobs. They'll attack if you get too close. I think they're old Red Ribbon Army robots. Oh, yeah. Chi-Chi, you were attacked by some robots before. Maybe they're the same type. If we don't do something about them, they might make their way here and attack you again. I'll take them out while I look for what I need. Oh, that'd be a huge help. Thank you. Oh, no, you don't. Gigi? I can't send you off somewhere where you could potentially get hurt. If something were to happen to you, I wouldn't hear the end of it from Bulma. She blamed me, no doubt. Gigi. It's okay. I can handle robots like that no problem. After all, Gohan was the one who trained me. Besides, I'll be careful. You don't need to worry about me, I promise. Once I'm done there, I'll head right back. <sighs> okay, fine. If you're going to give me that look, I guess I can't stop you. But if you find yourself in trouble, you get out of there. Got it? Right. Come straight back here if you need to. Of course. Okay, then I'm off. I suppose Gohan did train him after all. He even sounds just as confident as Gohan. I should take care of those Red Ribbon Army robots before I look for the materials. Chi Chi seems to be doing okay, but I can tell she's still having a hard time. I need to finish what I came here to do so I can put Chi Chi at ease. The Red Ribbon Army sure did leave behind some real nasty machines. And giving Chi Chi and the Ox King some trouble. They look like real pushovers compared to the androids. I'll wipe them out in no time. I don't have time.
find a way from these stupid things. This is it! What? I can still fight! Yes! Okay, no more interruptions now. I need to find what Mom's looking for. Chi-Chi, Ox King. I was able to find what I was looking for. I also took out those Red Ribbon Army robots. Good. I'm glad to see you're safe and that you got what you needed. Me too. Way to go, Trunks. You're becoming quite the capable warrior. Have I told you you're like Vegeta? It's because of Gohan and his training that I'm as strong as I am now. And it's because of him that I'm even alive. Well, I'm sure Gohan would be really happy to hear that, if he were here. While I am lonely without Goku and Gohan, I've got my dad here to keep me company, and Bulma's got you, doesn't she? True. At least we all have each other. Speaking of Bulma, you said she was working on something? Then again, I guess she's always doing that, huh? <laughs> you got that right. Actually, this time, she's working on a time machine. That's why she needed what I came here to get. Uh, did, did you say time machine? 
Wow, that's, uh, one heck of a thing to create. I'm pretty sure Bulma might be a genius or something. She's going to have me use the time machine to go to the past. That way I can give Goku some medication to keep him from dying. With Goku alive, we should be able to find a way to stop the androids. Well, that's the plan at least. Wait, so does that mean Goku and Gohan will come back to life? <clears throat> Probably not. I don't think changing anything in the past will affect us here. It's really unfortunate. Oh, I see. I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to get your hopes up. Uh, oh, no, it's, it's okay. If you can save Goku in the past, please do so. At least past me won't be so depressed. I'd be a little jealous of her, though. Yeah, I'm with Chi-Chi on that one. I understand. I wish there was something I could do. You're sweet, Trunks. You don't need to worry about us. Make sure you keep taking care of Bulma, okay? Be careful on your way back. You're welcome here anytime. Oh, and tell Bulma I said hi. Okay, thanks you two. I'm off then. I can't believe what they've done to this city. Huh? I hope we can restore our home to what it used to be. All right, Mom's waiting. I'm back, Mom. This is what you needed, right? Yep, that's it. Oh, now I've got what I need to finish the machine. <laughs> Thanks. So, how are Chi-Chi and her dad doing? They're fine, but they still seem like they're struggling with Gohan's death. If I can find some time, I should probably try to visit them occasionally. Right. I'm sure they'd appreciate that. It would be great to head to the past and help create a world where Gohan and the others are still alive. I sure wish I could at least take the androids out now and bring peace to our world. Sure, that would certainly help us here, but we don't have what it takes to pull that off right now. That's why we need you to go to the past and save Goku. That'll hopefully change everything we need to help us here. I mean, better than letting the androids continue to toy with you, right? Even if it is another world, there should be a future without the androids somewhere. Come on, you've got to give it a shot. You're right. Trunks, I finally did it! Thanks to your help, I was finally able to finish my work on the time machine! Really? I should be able to charge up enough energy for a round trip pretty soon. 20 years into the past ought to be possible. This thing takes about eight months to charge, so I can't really run any tests. I think you'll still be good to make it back here safely, though. I would have been able to create a much more reliable machine if my lab hadn't been destroyed. <sighs> Mom, I think I'm strong enough to beat the androids now. We won't have to risk a trip to the past. Oh, Trunks, not this again. I'm serious. I'm confident. I have what it takes now. We interrupt this program to bring you breaking news on the android threat. The androids have been spotted wreaking havoc in the vicinity of West City. That's close. Wait a minute, Trunks. Don't you even think about it. I'm heading over there. I can't let them keep doing this. Trunk, stop! Do not go fight them! Given my training, I should be even stronger now than Gohan was. I just need to believe in myself. I can do this. Today's the day I avenge everyone they murdered. The androids don't scare me anymore. Just you wait, androids! This struggle ends today. There's no point traveling to the past if nothing here will change. If I take out the androids now, I won't have to go to the past. Even this town wasn't safe. 
Hey, Seventeen. I think we killed everyone here. Let's head back. Good call. All right, you monsters. The killing stops today. You're going to pay for what you did to Gohan. Hmm, it's the brat again. Still hasn't learned his lesson, huh? You don't know when to give up. I hate that. Too slow! Yeah! This is it! Ah! 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 
I did it! I finally did it! What? Hmm. <laughs> I'll give you a little credit. You are actually stronger. But your attacks are too predictable. You're just gonna tire yourself out, little guy. <clears throat> no! This can't be happening! What? Where... Where'd they go? <laughs> Why? Why are you doing this to us? Well, Dr. Giraud created us to help him take over the world, but honestly, we couldn't care less about that. We can't stand looking at you people. We just hate you. It's that simple. That's why you're killing us. You have to be stopped. I'm an idiot. I wasn't strong enough on my own. The androids are far too strong. Gohan's dead. And I learned nothing from his death. I guess... I guess I have to use the time machine to go to the past. Though critically wounded, Trunks managed to survive. And in five days' time, he awakened. His fight made him acutely aware of his shortcomings, so he decided to take Bulma's advice and travel to the past. All set. Remember, you absolutely have to give Goku his heart medication. And be careful, okay? Right. You too, Mom. I'm counting on you, Trunks. Okay. Wish me luck. And so, Trunks journeyed to the past, dispatching Frieza and his men with ease, and meeting a younger Vegeta and Bulma, as well as their friends. Shortly thereafter, Goku arrived on Earth, Trunks informed him of the events set to take place in three years' time, and gave him the heart medication. 
Still, hopeful his actions in the past would improve his world, Trunks made his way back to his mother in the future. I'm back, Mom! Welcome home, Trunks! The time machine hold up okay? Yeah. I was able to meet Goku and give him the medication. Oh, that's a relief. I wasn't able to run any tests on the machine, so I was worried it might malfunction. Then again, a genius like me doesn't make mistakes. <laughs> so, did you happen to meet anyone else? I did. I met a younger you and Gohan, as well as Krillin. And father, too, of course. Oh, you met a younger me. Well, what did you think? I was a looker, wasn't I? I mean, that hasn't changed, of course. I yeah, she trusted me right away. I'm guessing it's because she sensed some sort of connection with me. Uh, huh. Yeah, maybe that's what it was. Yeah, right. I didn't have much of a choice. So... You said you met Vegeta, huh? He was a real pain. I bet he gave you one heck of a hard time. Yeah, I, I wouldn't say he was a pain, but he was definitely intimidating. I could tell he had a strong sense of pride. <laughs> yeah, that's him. He was pretty standoffish, so I didn't get to talk to him much, which is good, I guess. I couldn't let him find out who I am. But I was glad I finally got to meet him. Maybe it's for the best you two didn't talk much. Who knows? You might have ended up regretting meeting him. Back then, he was... different. So he really was a difficult person then? Uh, kind of. But he wasn't always so cold to everyone, you know. Oh yeah? I'm sure I would have learned that if I'd had more time with him. Anyway, all that's left to do is wait for the androids to show up there and go provide support. I wonder how Goku and the others are going to fight the androids. I hope they can find a way to beat them. Okay, I'll start getting the time machine in working order again and charge up some energy for another round trip. It'll take some time, though. So make sure you're good and ready for the trip. Right, will do. <laughs> <laughs> 